Hey, what's up everyone? This is White Pointer, and this is another guide on how to beat an optional boss in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. This one is for Leviathan. Uh, this one is a pretty tough fight, um, but it's worth doing because you get the Leviathan Summon as a reward. Um, so before I hop into it, I'll show you uh, my loadout so you can see how I've prepared. Um, I, uh, I'm level 32. Um, you need to be pretty high level to take this one on because he's got some higher highly damaging attacks that you cannot survive unless you know, your hit points are high enough. Um, as for the, the material and equipment, um, Barrett is going to be your primary uh, damage dealer in this fight. Uh, so I've got him equipped with Big Bertha. This is um, the best ranged weapon he has, um, at least uh, where I am in the game at the moment. Um, Materia, I've got Lightning Materia equipped and the Elemental Materia equipped to that, so his attacks have uh, Lightning properties because the Leviathan has a weakness to Lightning. Uh, barrier Materia, that's very important. Um, and uh, aside from that, it's not really too important what else he has there. Um, Cloud and Tifa are going to be your primary healers here. Um, so Cloud's got a healing materia, um, HP up materia, that's uh, very important, and uh, again, the, the rest there, uh, Auto Cure um, helps in the fight as well, so if you have that, make sure you equip it. Um, Tifa, she's also got the healing materia, um, she's got the magnified materia attached to that, so um, I can target all my party members at once, very handy. Revival Materia, um, you may or may not need that in the fight, hopefully I won't need it. Um, and Chakra Materia which allows her to um, to heal herself as well as Prayer Materia to heal everyone uh, in case you run out of um, uh, magic points. Uh, you also got the HP up Materia there to give her more hit points, the more the better. Um, I've actually given her the Chocobo, um, the Chocobo and Moogle Materia here um, because uh, it's it's actually fairly decent against the the, the Leviathan. Um, it's, it's got the wind element to it, and um, yeah, but believe it or not, it's actually okay against Leviathan. So so yeah, so, so that's how I have prepared. Um, my weapons are. Uh, quite upgraded at this point and as you can see Barrett is the leader here because he's the one that's going to be doing most of the damage so um, yeah so from there um, yeah let, let's hop into it and I'll show you how it's done I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research this may not be the best way to go about this but it's the way that I found most effective for me so um, if you're having problems beating this fight then um, I would definitely try and you know go for this strategy first and see if it works for you. Let's hop into it. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Alright, so the main strategy here is to hit him with ranged attacks with Barret as much as he can uh, while the AI controls Cloud and Tifa. So keep firing away at him. Um, use Maximum Fury because that is a great damage dealer. And overcharge whenever it's available. As I said, Cloud and Tifa are going to be your main healers. Really ready to block or dodge whenever he's charging up an attack. Blocking will still do damage, but not as much as it would if you didn't block. I'm using regen here. Just to keep my character so healthy. That is a very difficult attack to avoid. It is possible, I have done it, I, I didn't do it there, but that, it is possible to avoid that spinning dive. 
if you act quickly enough. Keep hammering away. This is this is basically the strategy. Whenever you can hit his dorsal fin, you should be aiming for it as well, because if you hit that enough, you can stagger him. That will that will increase his uh his pressure gauge a lot quicker. More healing coming up for Barrett. See, I, I still didn't avoid that there. It's really hard. And he's coming back for another one. That's unusual. He normally doesn't do it twice, but there you go. Gotta be ready if he does. If you mention knocking him down like this, you know, lay into him. Okay, tidal wave. Now this is the big one you gotta watch out for. You cannot block or avoid this. So what I'm doing, I'm healing up everyone. And I'm gonna use Mana Wall on Barret. This is gonna do big damage. Look how much damage that did. Damn. So, now I'm going to heal up again straight away. And get straight back into it. As far as I can tell, he only ever does that attack once during the fight. I've never seen him do it more than once, which is lucky. And I've staggered him now, so lay in on him. I actually got my limit break going here, so that's going to help a lot. Boom. Use Chocobo and Moogle. This time that, no anyway. Alright, so once he starts doing this, um, flying up above you, creating these vortexes around you, you need to be uh, locked on to either his dorsal fin or his tail fin. You can't hit him any other way, and you know, sometimes parts of his body are immune to damage. So you just got to switch to another part when that happens. See, his head's immune there. So I got switched switch his tail to hit him. But if you do it well enough, you should be able to stagger him again. And there he is. this. Not quite. But Chocobo and Moogle should hit him here with their ultimate attack and that should finish him off. Here they go. And that should be it. There it is. I didn't die, so the, the big attack you got to watch out for there is Tidal Wave. Anyway, I hope that helps. 
and I'll see you next time.